What's up YouTube, this is Galactic God, and I'm coming at you now with an updated version of the Googly Eyes deck that Brain Freeze Lasers and I came up with for one of our Dev Pro deck building challenges earlier last format. I decided to go ahead and update it for the current format. I actually took this deck to a recent regional. I didn't enter the regional with this deck, but I did take it to play off on the side, so I got to duel a bunch of my subscribers with it and whatnot, so it was really fun. So what I've done is gone ahead and just updated it for the new January 1st ban list, and I'm going to go ahead and get into things and show you the deck. Alright, so we play three copies of the Elephant, three copies of the Leo, and of course, three copies of the Monkey. Uh, so these are our three super robot defenders, or super defense robot, Dang, I can never say that right either. Crazy. Uh, they kind of all work together um, in unison, so to speak. Ultimately, what you're really trying to do is just get at least one of the either the level four or the level three guy out with the level eight. Now both the Leo and the monkey will allow you to go ahead and special summon out another super defense robot. And in some instances, you can go ahead and get all three of them out in the same turn. All right, and that's the super robot defense aspect of the deck. All right, so for the rest of the monsters, we are playing three copies of the Machina gear frame, uh, two copies of Fortress, and then one copy of the cannon. Now we're playing a little bit of a Machina engine here. It kind of helps stall until we're able to get our googly eyes out on the field. So hopefully our opponent is wasting resources trying to deal with Machina Fortress and all the rank sevens that it can make. And then once they've exhausted enough things, we can go ahead and drop our googly eyes and really do some damage. All right, so that's gonna do it for the Machina aspect. For the rest of the cards, we have just our one uh, Redox that we can have now. Two copies of Card Card D. Uh, this is really good because, you know, drawing is definitely an issue in this deck. We want to make sure we get to our combo pieces as fast as we possibly can. Plus, it's an Earth Machine, so it works really well with not only Redox, but Machina Fortress and uh, the Super Defense Robot card, especially the Monkey, for getting its effect off. From there, we're playing two copies of Effect Veiler and then just one copy of Max C. All right, that rounds up the monster count. Now for spells, we are playing two copies of Trade-In. Now some of you guys might be wondering, I'm only playing four level eight monsters, so why in the world would I possibly play two copies of Trade-In? Well, the Super Defense Robot Monkey's effect allows you to continually grab back your Elephant from the graveyard to your hand. So it seems like you always have a pretty constant supply for discard fodder for both Trade-In and for discarding for the Machina Fortress. All right, so from there, we're playing two copies of Pot of Duality, two copies of Mystical Space Typhoon, two copies of Forbidden Lance. A back row is definitely an issue for the deck and it's gonna be probably pretty prevalent this format. Uh, so we do need the Mystical Space Typhoons and the Forbidden Lances to protect our monsters so we can go for our big plays. Finally, we have Book of Moon, Dark Hole, and of course our Win More card, Limiter Removal. All right. All right, so for traps, pretty basic stuff. Solemn Warning, Compulse, Bottomless, Torrential, uh, Seven Tools, Mirror Force, and then I'm playing two D Prisons at the moment. Uh, just to remove all that really pesky stuff that can't be destroyed by battle. Alright, so for the synchro portion of the extra deck, we are playing just three of them. A level 5 um, Amadeus, level 8 Scrap Dragon, and a level 8 Stardust Spark Dragon. I would also like to try and find a way to get a regular Stardust Dragon into the extra deck, but it's pretty tight on space at the moment. Alright. So for rank four exceeds, we have uh, Black Ship, Diamond Dire Wolf, uh, Gaga Ga Cowboy, Abyss Dweller, and the one Gigant X. In previous builds, I kind of liked having more than one in the deck. Unfortunately, you know, space is really tight, so I've cut it down to one. Usually, I don't think we need to go into it more than once. Abyss Dweller is another really great card, especially this format. A lot of stuff with Bujins and Mermels and stuff are really prevalent out there, and so this card kind of helps you get around stuff like that. All right, that's going to do it for the rank fours. So for rank sevens, we are playing uh, Big Eye, Draco Sack, and uh, number 74, Master of Blades. Been thinking about possibly cutting uh, Master of Blades out to kind of throw in some other stuff. I don't know. I still kind of like it. Sometimes it can be really handy. All right. And then, of course, for the rank eights, we got Felgrand, uh, uh, the Heretic Sun Dragon, and then two of our Googly Eyes Dragons itself. Uh, definitely their biggest boss monster of the deck, the one I try and go to the most, although Felgrand is pretty nice, and even Heliopolis could be really good at times. But Googly Eyes is one hell of a, of a tough boss monster to get around. A lot of people don't even know what it really does, and they'll blindly try and dark hole it or something without realizing that it's just going to come right back, or I don't know, lots of really cool things to do with Googly Eyes Dragons. Probably a card that I definitely shunned on at first and thought it was like really retarded, but I've really kind of uh, fall in love with the card and I think it's pretty awesome and one of the main reasons why I still continue to play this deck all right YouTube and there you have it this was my googly eyes slash super defense robot deck 
If you guys would actually like to see this deck in action, Brain Freeze Laser and I have quite a few duels of it up on both of our channels. I'm going to have links to them down in the description bar below. They are, of course, from last format, but that's pretty much how the deck still works. Maybe if you guys would like to see, we can do some updated Dev Pro duels of this in the future as well. Anyhow, remember to let me know what you guys think of this deck down in the comments section below. Any helpful hints or ideas on ways to improve it are always most welcome. And I guess that's going to do it for now. This is Galactic God, out.